Okay, so we're going to solve the system. Three x minus two y equals two, and nine x plus six y equals negative six. Okay, once again, all the variables are already on the left hand side. So it's already in standard form. Okay. Now your second step is you want to be able to multiply it to where one of the variables disappear when you add them together. You can do one of two things. You can multiply this first one by negative 3, because negative 3 times 3 would be negative 9. You add that with 9, it'll disappear. Or you can multiply it. See, negative 3 will work for that one, too. So we'll kind of see what we end up with there. So we're going to multiply each term in equation 1 by negative 3. Okay, so that means we have our 3x minus 2y equals 2, which will become negative 3 times 3x minus negative 3 times 2y equals negative 3 times 2. Okay, so just multiply each term by the same thing. Oh, clean that up. There we go. Okay, negative 3 times 3 is positive, well, negative 9x. Negative times negative is positive, so you have 3 times 2y, which is positive 6y. And you have negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. So that means this equation will be replaced with this one. So our system goes from... 3x minus 2y equals 2, and 9x plus 6y equals negative 6, and it becomes negative 9x plus 6y equals negative 6, and 9x, uh-oh, missing a minus sign somewhere. This plus, where did I miss that? Oh, there, that's right. Negative 9x plus 6y. That first one should be minus. Why did I change that to plus? Nope, it should have been plus. <laughs> nope, we'll see. Nope, no, I'm right. Never mind. Equals negative 6. Okay, so we go, might as well go ahead and just add them together since we're here. Okay. So you have negative 9x plus 9x is 0, so that disappears just like we want it. You have 6y plus 6y is 12y. Negative 6 times negative 6 is negative 12. So you have 12y equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 12. That cancels out. So you're left with y equals negative 12 divided by 12. Oh, move that up some. Which is negative 1. Okay. So you can plug that into either equation. So you have 3x minus 2y. Equals negative one. Oh, make sure I didn't mess it up. Three x minus two y. That's where I messed up. Forgive my mistake. This should have been negative. That's why it didn't work out the way I thought it should have. Okay, so that means we should have multiplied it just by three, by positive three. So if we multiply it by positive three. Okay, 
negative. So that means this should have been positive and that should have been negative. All right, so that should have been negative 6y. Sometimes my copies don't come out like they should. And this should have been plus. All right. So to avoid confusion, I'm just going to go ahead and redo this one real quick. Since my original problem was flawed. Three X minus two Y equals two and negative nine X plus six Y equals negative six. All right, we'll go through the first half of it pretty quickly because it's kind of a short problem. Okay, remember your first step already in standard form. Uh -oh. Second step, we're going to multiply the first one by positive three. Okay, so that means we're going to end up with 3 times 3x minus 3 times 2y equals 3 times 2. So you have 9x minus 6y equals 6. Okay, so that means our original equation, 3x minus 2y equals 2, and negative 9x, uh oh move that up some, sorry about that, plus 6y equals negative 6, will now become 9x minus 6y equals 6, negative 9x plus 6y equals negative 6. Which is why I was so confused when it came out to be y equals 1, because it shouldn't have been there. Okay, so if we add everything together, 9x minus 9x is 0, negative 6y plus 6y is 0, 6, negative 6 is 0, we end up with 0 equals 0, which is true. Okay, now when you end up with all the variables disappearing and you have a true statement at the end, there are infinite solutions. Infinite solutions. Okay, so that's the last example. Any questions on that one? Sorry about the little forgetting the minus sign. Those things happen every once in a while. All 